Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as those good swampy beasts, our lovelies, Marler Tribe. And I'm joined here with my cat, Marler Binky. Anyways, custom game rules, I'm going to let this do whatever it feels like. Anything, no historical AI, just everything's default. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I do have the mod compilation on for Old World Blues. That alters the focus trees and directions of some nations. Regardless, we are M Mlulu, the with an insatiable hunger, which actually hurts our manpower every week by a little bit. Ooh, the great god of the Marlurk tribe, a tribe of wastelanders who worship and work alongside Marlurks in their swampy home. Ah, good. Let's go ahead and choose Sanity Lost. The destitute of the Deadwood did not take kindly to the flames of war. Cool. Got, got a couple divisions here. Oh, we got some Marlurk divisions, which aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. We get a lot of attack and movement on amphibious terrain, which is awesome. But then we also have these Coral Worshippers, which, side by side, Marlurk's already 20 combat width. These, go, these guys are 6. There's no competition between these two. No competition. HP, soft attack, breakthrough, defense. No competition. Regardless, I still gotta use him for now. Anyways, Coral Prophet Anastasia. Hello there. Hmm, interesting. Um, we have no... The old Marshal left okay. I don't know who to take out first. It might be Port Maul. Maybe. But led by the Pirate Queen. 3 to 5 divisions. The Apostles have 6 to 12. It might be best if we take out the Port Maul first, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to war with anyone. Anyways, 3 research slots. But we are considered a tribal nation. Let's double check. Yep, we're only tribal. Kind of sucks. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Land Doctrine. Actually, Land Doctrine. I think I want to go with Asymmetrical Warfare. We do get bonuses to going Asymmetrical Warfare, so let's do that. And actually, our population isn't great. It's only 10,000. But over time, if we can do well enough, we get claims and eventual potential cores along the entire Pacific Coast, which is something really, really awesome. So, uh, dockyards. We're making some Marlurk shells. We're making some basic melee weaponry. I might need some dynamite for these Marlurks, but do that for now. You guys... Uh, do we have a navy? We don't even have a navy. I'm kind of going to ignore the navy just because I want to save on manpower. I don't want to make garbage. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Make a few ships. Make a few ships for now. Crowlands, that'd be good. Ah, civilian factories. We have a total of... Five factories. Okay. Hmm. Not much. Make that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Well, perhaps you can only make one division at a time. Do that, then. And we have... Let's see. No slaves. We don't believe in slaves here. At least for now. No mutants allowed. No undesirables. Outsider volunteers, though. And we only have 500 eggs. I need more eggs. They move around inside sometimes. They must be close to hatching. Mmm, eggies. The destitute of the of the Deadwood did not take kindly to the flames of war. After the new world was made from the ashes of the old, those, the survivors, they were left, but not a single road to travel. No purpose, for the fires not only burned their homes, but their very identity. How do we live in a world like this? Asked the once soldier. He was right. Humanity as it was, was it meant for this world? Quickly, the destitute began to lose hope. The fruits they ate to nourish themselves slowly draining away at their minds as their bodies wasted away from radiation. It would take a new way of survival to survive through this age. For now, though, the destitute would have to survive. Which fruits did the ruddy man pick? The blood red fruits? Ooh, that's a lot of war support. We have a, good, we have a very good amount of stability. As many as he could hold, get a balance, are the serene green fruits. Well... I would like as much stability as possible, but that's not bad. 81% is already pretty good. More worth support sounds pretty good to me right now. So, the blood red fruits. Sanity found, though, after one is hurt, the scars might last forever. The pain, though, it fades away. And because we're tribal, I will not be able to do very much with our air wings, or air force. Marlurk Air Force. That sounds awesome. Ah, oh, but Sanity, after one is hurt... The scars might last forever. The pain it fades away. Of course, the destitute were led by the ruddy man in their early years. A helpful soul, eager to guide the addled and drugged back on the road set out for them to find them a new identity. The ruddy man taught the destitute 
to let go of the past, to see forwards rather than back. They began to watch the ways of the wildlife of the Crowlands, in particular to the Mire Lurks. The Mire Lurks, unlike the humans, were made for this world, and thus they thrived in it. Long after the Ruddy Man left the destitute, they would continue to watch the wilds and copy them, dipping their newborns in the swamps and feeding them exclusively on the same fluorescent mutt fruit that the Marlurks fed on. Eventually, after enough years, the Marlurks began to no longer see the destitute as a threat, but they as they once were, but now they are one people. How long would this transformation have taken the destitute before they saw themselves this way as well as the Marlurk tribe? One generation? Get a lot of caps. Actually, what do I need caps for? I barely have any divisions anyways. I don't even have slaves. Which, uh, hmm. One generation? Two generation? Three generation? Oh, uh, I don't... We get money anyways. I don't really care about that. Give me three generations. Because I want lots of building slots. Uh, the Coral Court. For many in the wasteland, the Marlurk tribe has take, have taken our way of life too far. Right, Bink? My Marlurk kitty. Ooh. Do we get another factory? Very nice. Ah. Uh, not bad. But unfortunately, we have no slaves, which is okay. Ah, the Coral Court. So, the Marluk tribe has all but embraced their identity as Marluks in human skin. They wear old Marluk car carapaces as armor, use their slime to color the skin, and protect their eggs at all costs. In recent years, however, the, this dynamic has changed. A group of wise men and oracles known as the Coral Court has taken control of the Marluk tribe to help the tribe on their path. These oracles attest that the Ruddy Man wasn't a man but a Marluk Queen of old. Under the Coral Court, the Marluk Queen Melulu, a great Marluk Queen that the court protects utterly, is treated as a god of the bloodline of the Ruddy Man and heir to the coast of Oregon. Among many of the Marluk tribe, it's hard to say whether the Coral Court uses Mlulu to control the tribe's bidding or if Mlulu uses both the tribe and the Coral Court as underlings to help spread her domain. Which do you feel is right? And there's a weather, that's a ty wrong type of weather. This isn't like about the sky, it's choice. Anyways, none stand above Mlulu or the Coral Court serves Mlulu and the tribe serves the cult. Well, we really need more military factories, and another civilian factory really won't help me out very much immediately. So, military factory it is. Now, what I want to do, I want to go to war as fast as possible to see what happens. So, we're probably going to go with Mudfruit for land, Crowlands, the Maw, begets stuff, become owner and controller of cannibal territories. If I could take another slot here, that would be awesome. Oh, Crowlands, you guys have a little bit of water, which we're going to send up to here, but I don't mind taking that. Hmm. Coral construction sounds really good, actually, for more military factories. Consult the oracles. Actually, before we choose anything, what type of things can we get? Like, cultural people. Experience soldiers lost. A shaman. Peaceful origins. Tribal leader. That's not bad. I like the stability. Friends in high places. I like that as well. I want as much political power as possible. Economic advisors. They're fairly generic, I guess. Chief of Army, Thunder War Chief, Boulder War Chief. Production policies, pre-war designs, of course, stuff like that. Um, born Warriors, Able-Bodied Tribesmen. I wish this was a little bit more flavored. For example, like Born Warriors are just fine, but like Able-Bodied Mirelurks, the first sons and daughters of the Mirelurk tribes, and then everyone, all Mirelurks, shall serve. That would have been really cool. Anyways, see there's a bonus for Asymmetrical Warfare. These are only 30 days, which is kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and choose to consult the oracles so we can get some political power. The oracles are eager to share their knowledge with us. We should ask them to, the knowledge they hold. Absolutely. Knowledge is power. And, oh, we just lost seven more manpower. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Hmm. But I do have a cup of Marlurk coffee here. S nice, swampy, eggy Marlurk coffee. Nope, and we just lost some more manpower. Honestly, losing seven a day, or seven a week, I mean, isn't bad, but why can't they just do, like, one person a day? That, that actually might mess with modifiers, actually, now that I think of it. Whatever. Go ahead and disable this stuff, and then we're already more than halfway done with Consult the Oracles. Uh, we have about 1.23 political power a day. Let's go and grab a new guy. Lover! Oh, you get less attack and defense? Oh, man, come on. You have finesse, but, oh, less attack and defense. I almost don't even want to make you a general now. Come on, let time go on. We only get like two guys a month. Two Marlurks a month, which isn't ideal. We need way more supplies though. Ooh, consult the oracles. Ooh, melee weaponry. Naval technology, scrap war machines. Cool. Hey, how are you doing? B 
Bing, bing. Powered melee weaponry. Ooh, I like that. But let's do seeing to our queen's needs. The Coral Court has always been in charge of tending to Mlulu's needs. Is it time that we tend to the god of the Myrlurk once again? Good. Um, what's the military high command? Crusher? That's not bad. Oracle? That's okay. Frontline? Oh, 3% minus for supply consumption isn't that great. Mid oh, midwife of the tribe? I like me some midwives. Let's see. Economic advisor? Let's see. Where was that other guy? Cultural advisor. I like the daily political power gain, but like I said before, I like stability. I like a lot of stability. Actually, before we do that, decisions? Nope. We can begin a scavenging program, but that really doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, stability, please. Thank you. Now that's worth it. Get about 1.3 political power a day. I know some people don't like it. Oh, actually, oh, we can go immediately. I was gonna get the one that gives me more political power, but this looks like it's time to go to, for a well-equipped army. Now we have a total of three civilian uh, factories working on the next civilian factory. Oh, that's not bad. It's getting better. Get through these focuses as fast as possible. Oh, we get more political power here too. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome to armies. Nice discourage traders. That's fine. We use the bottle cap, not the NCR dollar, which is fine with me. Um, you guys are okay. We should have like air force. Okay, that makes sense. Not to have it. War air force wave war chief. Uh, that's okay. Ten percent less cost or whatever. Um, infantry stuff. Conch knife. The conch knife. Oh, it's not a conch shell, but close enough. Who actually? I want some. I want explosive mirelurks. How awesome would that be? Explosive Maya Lux. Gliders? I don't have enough manpower for gliders, I think, right now. Let's get some reinforce rate. That'd be nice. I mean, we might start thinking about making better ships. Maybe? Maybe? Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, money. I love the money. I'm not sure what we do with money as Maya Lurks. Because I didn't know we were supposed to get paid. I thought we just did it for fun. Coral templates. Uh, I don't want to train my guys just because... I don't really think there's a really... Oh, there goes Olympus Tribe. I don't think there's really much of a point to... We could get more army XP, and you guys are already seasoned, so... There's no real point to attack. Attack. You're really good in defense. Holy cow. Sink to our queen's needs. Yes. Harvest. St even more stability. Place outposts on every eastern coastal province in Crowlands and Culp Creek. Well, I need all of these, so let's plant for the next harvest. Sure, the Crowland gives a plenty amount of food on its own. If we aren't careful, though, we will strip the land dry. For every mutt fruit we take, we must plant ten more for the wilds to enjoy. Look at all this power. Um, Tarkus Walkers, Rib Breakers. How strong are you guys? Five to eight divisions. Um, I How long would it take for me to go to war with you guys? I might be able to bait you guys into attacking me a little bit. Well, hold on. Let's double check our focus tree. So, Rib Breakers. Clearing out the cannibals. Gaining core on cannibal territories. Crowlands. Rib breaker, mud fruit for land. If they accept. If not, we might be screwed over. I don't know. Let's just save what we have for now. I'm not going to go to war just yet. I want to see what happens. So, that's okay. Attack. Monthly population. I really like that. War support. Research speed. Actually, wouldn't be bad. War times. Just if I go on us. 10% really isn't worth it that much, to be honest with you. Cultural advisors. Economic advisors. Trade laws. I'm not really going to focus too much on trade laws. Um, I wish I had more decisions I could take. Infantry equipment's okay. Power armor? I can already do power armor stuff. Combat robots. Stability? That's not bad. We're going to get enough stability over time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Infrastructure. Military, civilian, and dock of construction speed. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Why not? And that was the fixers. Friedman's fixers. Anything I can do here? Begin a scavenging program? Transaction balance, 400. Uh, that uses up civilian stuff. I don't want to use that. Political power. I'm not really sure. There's not really much we can do. Research speed and war support's not bad. Ah, screw it. We'll do that. Just give me more political power, I guess. I mean, whatever. We're just going to plant and wait for now. How strong are, is Port Maul? Four to five divisions. We could probably take them on, honestly. Well, I want to see what happens. I, I've never played as a Mirelurks. At the time of this recording, so I don't know. What are the troll worn up to? You 
interesting. More manpower than us. Yeah, we're definitely losing manpower. I really don't like that. I really, really don't like that. But I like this poker tree because you eventually get down here. Ritual of the Black Hollows. We need at least 8,000 eggs. We get claims and war goals for the Troll Warren, Carcass Walkers, Rib Breakers, Apostles. Of course, all own states also cored by the Apostles. Core. We can core states coastal to the Pacific Ocean for free. That's awesome. And we just buy for the next harvest, too. Awesome. Uh, profits. Coral construction. This is all nice stuff. Defend the river. Let's do that. It's time we check on our old river fortifications. Defending the river is a key to keeping the cannibals out of Melulu's domain, after all. Good. Let time go on. Let time go on. Uh... I'm almost tempted to get rid of this factory for basic melee weaponry, but probably not for now. And I do want to get Port Maul's cannibal territories as fast as possible, because I don't know how soon the Washington Brotherhood might take out Port Maul, which I don't ever remember them owning this part of the mall, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Scavenging program, ruthless drills. That hurts our stability and war support, which I really don't like. Oh, good, woodworking. Uh, let's go ahead and grab scavenging tools. Eh, that can wait, actually. Work is needed. Work is needed, guys. Because we have combat language we need to do next. Good. Decryption? Good. Because Timberline, the Bone Dancers, the Bone Dancers. They sound like a fun faction to play as someday. Seraph Pilgrims, odious king. Widespread cannibalism. He who showed the way. This... Looks like a really fun group to play as. Coming of the Seraphs. Defend the river. Tasty. Cool. Let's go back up here. Meeting of the Coral Prophets. The Coral Court has often often has secret meetings outside the public's awareness. Few are aware of the details of such shadowy meetings, however. Often the effects of them can be rather far-reaching. Oh, good. We got enough political power again. Who do I choose? I have no idea. Better training time? Hmm... Is there anything that I could do now that will immediately benefit me? Businesses? Not really for businesses. Uh, we got penalties to these guys again? My goodness. That's not cool. Um, uh, cultural advisors, shaman, war support. Research speed could be okay. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do research speed and war support. We could always use more war support, but we could always use more research speed. Since we only have three research slots and we are tribal, it's probably for the best. But I do want to get... Uh, where's the midwife? Oh, wait. Did I... Oh. No, no. Where did, where did I put, where'd I put that woman? Ah, there she is. Midwife of the tribe. Just give me more multi population. I doubt, though, that I will get any sort of event talking about the followers of the apocalypse. Which is fine with me. We don't want those weirdos here. Bunch of pacifists. Bunch of weirdos. Ooh, look at that. A ship. And by ship, I mean a canoe. Oh, of course. We would roll someone who's an old guard. Tribe Father Spinebreaker. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, as soon as you went out, you immediately got hurt. How? How did that happen? You lost more than two-thirds of your entire strength? Uh, guys. Y'all funny. Ah, spawning new pools needed. After the last meeting, the Coral Court has decreed that we need more spawning pools for Mlulu's next laying. Mmm, I love our queen. How should we go about getting enough land to fit all the eggs she will be laying? My goodness, we'll be, we're f we'll be flooded with political power. Go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Meryl Drink, here's Clear War and the Troll Warren. That's fine. Definitely want to yeah, I definitely got to get to the Rib Breaker stuff as fast as possible because it's Troll Warren. They're looking like they're, they're moving pretty fast. Ooh, Meryl Drink. Now that's a big woman. Mesmeralda? Hmm. Oh, the Troll Warren doesn't look it's like it's doing great, but I'm doing bad. Oh, wait, are you fighting two groups at once? Oh, if you could take them out, that would be great. I don't want to deal with these guys. Oh, heck no. Yeah, deal with the trolls. We will be the only weird ones here. I mean, we have humans here that are cannibals, but you know what? Some, most of us aren't. Most of us are not. 1.64 a day, not bad. Hmm. The capture of the ward? Wow, this is a weird first episode. I'm not even at war, and the troll ward are already dead? Nice. Oh, wait, hold on. The rib breakers is a... Oh, that makes sense then. The puppet of the mirror drinkers. How do they do that? 
Rise of the Gorgons? Oh my goodness. Um, offer mutt fruit for the cannibal territories. Well, it will hurt us in the short term, perhaps. By making a deal with the owners of the cannibal territory, we can get some more empty land for the purposes of creating Mirelurk spawning pools in. If this is if they don't accept, I hope, you know what, that uh, we get a war goal against them. If not, we're going to be in a problem. Can I improve my relations with you? No. I can only do it through events, decisions, and focuses. Oh, god dang it. Well, someone fetch me the waifu. Or, the midwife, not the waifu. Raven Eye Kurisu? What is that? Ooh. Muzzle descent. Freedom of speech? Pfft. Who needs freedom of speech? Outside veterans? No outsiders. More stability and war support. Secret language? Not bad. Uh, I'm running out of things to choose already. Consumer goods? Civilian? Uh, I like that. Uh, let's go with stone sharp per person. And here we will go with... Ah, scavenge tools isn't bad. Is there anything else I could do? Division training time, we'll do that. Why not? God, we've gotten so much political power in the beginning of this campaign so far. It's not even funny. Holy cow. And you guys are doing okay. Good. Go ahead and train. I mean, we might as well train you guys since we have you. 0.3 naval XP a day. Not bad. Uh, hope she doesn't cost too much more than 7 manpower a week. Please, I will offer you goodies in exchange for territory. You're starving for water. Even though you're surrounded by water, we'll trade you water for land. How's this coming along? Not very well. Because we began a scavenging program. How's this coming along? Not bad. Ah, oh, the trade was accepted! We have managed to ship off the Muttfruit to their capital, and they have given us land in question. Even more stability. God dang, we're very stable. Spread the Krolins. More s scrap. Nice. Cleaning out the cannibals. Gains a core on that. Rename it to the Northern Krolins. Weapon stashes on the beaches. Oh my goodness, this is all really good stuff. I can wait for the core coring stuff. Civilian factory sounds really good. But arms workshops, yeah. In the case of this land... Ever gets invaded, it's probably a good idea to stash some conch knives under the sand so that warriors can arm themselves quickly in times of war. Absolutely. Beautiful. My goodness. Actually, what is the next piece of territory that we can trade for? To the Rib Breakers, Mudfruit for Land, and Brighton Bush. Crowlands. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. Is this. Where's Beaver Creek? Oh, I can trade it for that? That's not bad. Cool. Two. You guys come there. I don't know what they're going to be up to, but thank you, Port Mall. You are a good, friendly, weird human nation. That eventually needs to get taken out, but, you know, we'll talk about that later on. Oh, Antelope Tribes, good. Yep. Come down there. Tevalis. Very good. Another, another division, awesome. Uh, yeah, I only make one division at a time. Uh, I don't think I want to make any more divisions, though. Maybe just because I do want to convert the one guy we have already. I don't want to use him because... Uh, division attack, that's not terrible. It's only 5%. Oh! Escape slaves from the marrow drinkers. Ooh, what about this guy first? Hold on. Cannibal, less supply consumption, life giver, aqua boy, girl, flexible, coffee time... How to supply junk rounds, more defense, more attack. Tank attack, tank... Wait, these guys are considered infantry to a degree. Um, Let's go ahead and go with... Actually, before I make a decision, what is the stats of you guys? So your attack is pretty good, your defense is pretty darn good. Let's get some more, more attack then. It's only 3% melee hacker. I mean, that only makes sense as they're playing. So, Marrow Drinker's tyranny is known across the wasteland. Although they might justify slavery as a favor to primitives, we know that freedom is the right of every wastelander and have always looked on, looked on with dismay. Early this morning, slaves crossing the slaves cross the border with Marrow Drinker's forces in hot pursuit. Our troops met them at the border, and Ben R R Rally is now demanding we turn over the slaves. What should we do? They're too important to insult. Freedom is the right of every wastelander. We support the rabble. Well, let's take a quick look. So, we have the Marrow Drinker's here. In our focuses, can we eventually trade with the marrow drinkers? So going workshop, striking gold. Going workshops, no, it doesn't look like here. To the mm, 
We could get Beaver Creek eventually. I don't want to piss him off. So, it's in too, they're too important to insult, and that honestly doesn't even hurt us, so. Turn around, you bunch of slaves. You're going back, even though we don't believe in slavery. It's not our, it's not our position to interfere in your affairs. Mm, oh yeah, multi-population seed selection. I love seed selection. Ah, uh, tasty coffee. Oh, we're mobilizing more. Wait, how are we mobilizing? 500 eggs? Oh, recruitable population, of course, still, but... Oh, Washington Brotherhood declared war on the cause. Good. What do I spend you guys on? We got the midwife. We got the woman that I really wanted. Uh, vehicle company, naval company, major businesses. Infantry technology? I mean, that's okay. Outside battalions? Outside auxiliaries, a little bit less planning speed. Non-core manpower isn't terrible. Chief of the army, just by war goals times. Oh, the reclamation authority. Mlulu has decided to construct a reclamation authority devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. Good. Boulder war chief. That's not bad. I like the entrenchment. But just by war goals time goes down by 10%. Eh, I'll do that one up. And weapon sashes on the beach. And I want to get Beaver Creek as fast as possible. So, let's spread out the Crowlands. Shortly after the integration of our new territory, we've noticed the old swamp boundary starting to inch towards the north. We should encourage this. How many eggs we got now? We got 1,750 eggs. Awesome. Very good. And we've got some ships training. We've got quite a bit of naval XP already. That's awesome. You guys are leveling up. We're losing manpower every week, which is a big old no-no. If I have zero, then they shouldn't accept any more, right? Shouldn't. Send out manual prospectors. Well, I don't have the manpower for that. Quarterly income. Only 36. Wow, that's not much. That's not much. Spell the riffraff. We don't really have to do that at all. I don't mind losing stability for war support, though. If that's possible. Three manpower. Yeah, a lot of it's just kind of waiting around here. I can't go to war with these guys because they're a puppet. And I, I quite literally don't have enough divisions to guard the line against them. Uh, I hope the cause wins, but I know they're not. No, who are you led by? Abel? Uh-oh. Is, is Kane around here? Kane? No? Okay. And let's clear up the cannibals. So, naturally we can't have Mlulu enter this land if there are cannibals here. Perhaps they can make a good sacrifice to Mlulu themselves. Nice. Give me more of those egos. 3,000 eggs. Never enough. Let's keep an eye on... What are these guys doing down here? Searching shipwrecks. Interesting, they do have the followers' influence. <coughs> Excuse me, my apologies. Consult the oracles, of course. Hmm. Kaiser's agent declared one, two sons. Alright, whatever. Uh, we probably can't, yeah, make any more of these guys since we're out of manpower. Hopefully, my manpower doesn't go down by seven since we are out of manpower. I don't know if there's any, you know, negative or any penalties from that, but I don't know. I like how I'm on the water map mode, strategic navy map mode. It says Greater Yellowstone, but when you click over here, it's still called Kuwait. Love it. Cool. We have so much political power, though. I, I don't know what to do with this. Wave War Chief. High Military Command. Out of Supply Consumption. Crusher. Uh, Just do Front Runner, I guess. I, I don't really have that much else to use you for, to be honest with you. Clearing out the cannibals. <laughs> Good. Offer much root for the Rip Breakers Coast. Sure, the coast we have attained is rather good. Perhaps more would be even be better, though. Pushing east and trading for land opposite of the Columbia River would be a good investment for us. Oh, we can't do this because... Oh, we need to offer mud fruit. Has not completed... Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I did this wrong. I think I did this wrong. One of the following must be true. I have not completed it. Blind eye. Oh, that is not good. I made a mistake, perhaps. Dig deeper? Oh. Oh, my. Oh, this is definitely a different path than what I thought I could do. Huh. I guess it's either or, I suppose, really. Go ahead and get this. Offer of mud fruit for the Rip Breakers Coast. Yes. Yes. You know. Hmm. I didn't realize it was either or. I thought we could do both, but yeah, whatever. Nice, we're already halfway to 8,000 eggs. I love it. What happens when you have enough eggs? I have no idea. I, I legit have no idea. 
Um, right now, go ahead and grab some dynamite. I want explosive Marlurks. Explosive Marlurks sound like a lot of fun. But what's the Brotherhood up to? They're, they're kind of a big country that we got to keep an eye on. I don't like them. Rip Breakers, Sacred Land, Merit Drinkers, Mastery over Mutants. Do they have a focus against us sometime? They probably do. Wasteland Tools. Mastery over Mutants. Blessing created a lake. That's kind of cool. Kind of nuclear... Nuclear stuff. Oh, seed selection good. Bone Dancers. Crowning the Gorgon Queen. Coral Riches. Hmm. Compliance by Force. And question of cannibalism. Maybe they have nothing against us. That'd be good. Uh, it's almost the next year. I can wait on that still. Engineering. Get some more uh, research speed. Are we getting paid? Yes, we are very soon. And I will end the episode relatively soon-ish. I do want to see if they will, they will be kind enough to offer their territory for some mud fruit. Navajo Nation declared one of the pre saves remnants. Cool. Come on, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Almost have enough Marlurks. Camelot survives sort of to declare war on the Dredgers, and... Oh, they accepted! They accepted as well! We have managed to ship off the Mudroot to the capital, and they have given us the land in question. Beautiful! Now we need more water, but we got more land in return. The Swamp Road. It's leaving the Swamp. We get three civilian factories, or we can do... More infrastructure and get cores defending the new coastline or more arms workshops immediately. Leaving the swamp. With our new land stretching this far out of the swamp, some tribesmen are having to leave the confines of the swamp. Already they are going and inhabiting the old ruins in these far off lands. Holy cow. I didn't expect to be this successful this quickly. Which is honestly kind of awesome. Really, really awesome. But unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's first episode in this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to explore around Oregon and make more eggs for our queen, Mlulu. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.